You're going to do it your way. And I believe that's the best way to do your movie, James. Your way. So if it succeeds, or you fails. get the credit. If it fails, you. you get the credit, bro. And I'm going to say, I still think the movie's going to be fire. I'm looking forward to what James brings out, bro. Full speed ahead. I believe in what he's doing in the film. I'm nervous as shit. Yes, he should be. But my nervousness isn't as high as it was before he changed the name. All right, man. We all know that the DCEU is dead. And we know that James Gunn is taking over the DCU. Superman Legacy has changed titles from Superman Legacy to Superman. What do I think? A lot of people want to know how I feel about it. The fact that James Gunn changed the title from Superman Legacy to just Superman, as I put on Twitter, it lets me know everything that I need to know. James is doing a non-traditional Superman. He's doing a Superman that is 100% his own. He's doing a Superman that will have some elements of a traditional Superman, but is going to have some serious elements of his own take on Superman. Now, am I cool with that? Yes, I am. I mean, when it was called Superman Legacy, I had a lot of I had a lot of problems with that because Superman Legacy. What do you think when you hear Legacy, Keon? Your, your um your history. What have you done? Your accomplishments. Hall of Fame career. Your best. You're being at your best. Tradition. History. Future. What you leave behind? Your heirs. Your children. And when it was called Superman Legacy. I was expecting it to be a Superman legacy. Like a family. What is the legacy that is Superman? Well, the legacy of Superman is he looks a certain way, mm -hmm. has a certain type of character, the curl, certain type of look, a certain of type of uh, origin. He has a certain type of mindset, and that's just the legacy that is Superman. So when I started to see things change up, like, oh, John Williams said he'll come out and he'll do, he'll come out of retirement and score a movie that he likes or, or, or he thinks is worth it. What's more worth it than Superman Legacy? Then what happened? John Williams, he's not doing Superman Legacy. James Gunn picks another guy to do Superman Legacy. And I'm thinking to myself, if you could get John Williams, why won't you get the GOAT John Williams? Mm -hmm. That's not Legacy. Mm -hmm. That don't sound like Legacy to me. Then we see some of the castmates that's getting cast. One person in particular that I don't like. I just, I just can't get my 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 thoughts around the character Lex Luthor. Oh, Beast. Beast. The actor that he chose to play Lex Luthor, the actor that he ran castings through to see what he would look like as Superman before he went with David Cornswet. I don't see him as Superman or do I see him as Lex Luthor. But that's with the mindset in my head that you're going for a Superman legacy. What's his name? Is it Nicholas Holt? Mm. Nicholas Holt ain't Lex Luthor legacy? He's not Superman legacy looking. And then I see the set photo of him. I just see him and I'm like, he reminds me of a Jesse Eisenberg, Zack Snyder, bitch-made Lex Luthor from BBS. That's what he reminds me of. An older version. And I'm not going to change from that until I see him do something different. All of the stuff that I'm saying is based off what James has put out, what the rumors have been out there, and what everybody like y'all see at home. Whatever y'all see, that's what I see. We all are seeing it together. And I'm saying to myself, John Williams... Not the score person. Mm -hmm. Nicholas Holt is Lex Luthor. That ain't Lex Luthor. Nope. Those two things aren't legacy. Then we got the symbol. Mm -hmm. The Superman shield. The meaning behind the House of L. Holt. We got the S reveal. And I see the way James kind of 
position that S so it looks more like an S. I see what you did, James. I see what you did. Other people don't, but I do. Real recognize real. I see that S. I see that James Gunn had the Kingdom Come on his Twitter. I see that James Gunn, you know, uh, running with the Kingdom Come S. And we're kind of doing a Kingdom Come S for the first movie of Superman being reintroduced to the world. Damn. That Superman S look whack. That Superman S is okay in the Alex Ross interpretation of Kingdom Come. The Kingdom Come story is a great story. Read the whole entire comic series, graphic novel, and I think it's, the review is even on my channel right now. Great story. But that's for an older Superman who was already tainted on the world, who was living a secluded life, who delved away from humanity. That was a hopeless Superman. Wonder Woman had to come and, and, and encourage him to be Superman again. That ain't my Superman. Kingdom Come Superman ain't Superman. That don't sound like legacy. Mm. Superman legacy? Uh-uh. In James we trust. No, not yet. Yeah. <laughs> that ain't legacy. No. So, I look at this mediocre looking S. I look at Nicholas Holt, John Williams. The changing of the name from Superman Legacy to just Superman this was, is laid out. should have been was the best decision that he made. Because now I know that James Gunn understands. James Gunn now knows. He knew he knew recently. This is a recent change. He figured it out. Dang. This don't look like a Superman legacy. This is just going to be called Superman. Is it retroactive thinking or you think it took the fans revolt? You think they thought he was, he could just basically put out food and tell you that it's tacos. But nigga, this is enchiladas. He, he don't have that clout to do that. He knows that he can't do that. So that's what he did. Retroactively changing shit as he's going along. Mm -hmm. It's a retroactive thing. What did you think about the shit? You didn't like that shit? It's polarizing. It's polarizing. I mean, and, 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 and it was funny is that just like James Gunn, a lot of the people that said that they like this shit are the same people that said, Henry Cappell, Zack Snyder, Superman, it's the greatest shit. See, I don't but like here's, here's the difference, though. Here's the difference, though. The fact that he changed it to just Superman takes all the burden off of me. Because I was taught, you calling it Superman Legacy, I'm expecting historical shit. But now that you're, I know, and now the world knows, and you change the title, we know that you're doing your own thing, and I'm convinced of it, obviously. That's why I was complaining. This don't make sense, bro. But you changed the name to just Superman? Oh, okay. So this is your story, your take, freak tradition, freak uh, uh, rules. You're going to do it your way. And I believe that's the best way to do your movie, James. Your way. So if it succeeds, or you fails. get the credit. If it fails, you. you get the credit, bro. And I'm going to say, I still think the movie's going to be fire. I'm looking forward to what James brings out, bro. Full speed ahead. I believe in what he's doing in the film. I'm nervous as shit. Yes, you should be. But my nervousness isn't as high as it was before he changed the name. Because my name. expectations are gone. So did the name acknowledge to you that he, okay, not that he messed up. That the fan base is not no, receiving the hype. That he messed up. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it a buck. <laughs> James realized he messed up. Oh, no, this ain't the right name. And I know James is going to say the PC thing that all of Hollywood motherfuckers say. Oh, I'm just, I read the script and I was reading the script. I realized, hey, yeah, this, you know, this is, I haven't realized there hasn't been a Superman movie since 1979, by the way, 78. And all right, you know, it's called a Superman. Y'all eat that shit up, and I do too. But I know what that means. Fuck. This ain't no legacy. Mm -hmm. It's called a shit Superman. It takes the burden off of it. New Mufferies like me who's, who's expecting legacy shit and just you have an empty slate as far as I'm concerned, James. Let's see what you come to the table with, bro. But it doesn't have put more pressure on him if he doesn't. But let's say he, let's say this movie is, is average because it seems like to me this movie cannot be average. Either it has to be great or it is going to be has a flop. Be, has to be great. Get it. So since James is taking this interpretation. Well, well, what do you consider great? Better than. B plus or higher? Well, it has to be A minus at least. Mm. A minus. 
In terms of the what 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 I think Doom Two is great. I gave it a B. I think it has to be better than that. In terms of it has to be better than because everybody thought Man of Steel was good. It can't be divisive. My thing, everybody universally has to agree that this is a great superhero. You can't universally agree with some something like that. Some you got things. haters, you got the Snyder Cult that's trash. But there's some but some things we can just acknowledge. Now if it's Make sure you're panning back and forth. Yeah. Like some things you can but you're acknowledge. Not. See some things like Let me some, show you. Some things can be universally genius. So you have to be able to like that. You have to be able to you have to be able to plan things how he's planning. He's planning so this Superman probably is not going to get the credit until maybe years later. So uh -huh. this is a foundational movie. You can't release this whole load into this one movie. So if this yes, movie, he can, yes he can, and yes he does. This is this is <laughs> he, no no no. If he doesn't no, release it okay. all into this movie and, and blow that cum shot, no one's gonna care about the DC. What do you mean by cum shot? What See, you said, you said this movie has to be great. So yes, it does. All right, so that no, means this, that means Doomsday. everything that you have. Doomsday. That's what you want. Doomsday. Brainy. Why do you think Hot Girls in it? Hot Why do you think Hot Girl metamorphosis in there? Is it, Why do you think all these characters are in there? Are Why do you think they're putting in the? He's I putting in characters are, from the Authority. I think these. This is a setup movie. I think we're trying to hype up. So we haven't had a Superman film. In seven, right. Since 78 um, Man of Steel Don't count as a Superman So why are all these Characters in the movie That's That's, that's an honest question And I'm talking to y'all too If James Gunn's making A Superman movie About Superman Why do we have so many Other freaking characters In the movie So now Do you think it's gonna be great That it's not gonna be Highlighted by Superman I With think, all these other highlights I think it's probably Gonna be a perspective uh, of Superman's gonna be The underlying Like theme But I think if you have all these characters, you're gonna gotta you gotta balance all the screen time. Either Superman's gonna interact with these characters, or those characters are gonna interact with Superman. Yeah. But if Superman's established as a foundation, is that good enough for you? Yeah. Is it, will that be considered a great film to you? Be clear. James said this is not an origin movie. So he's, he's already, already Superman. Yes. He's already gonna be established Superman. Oh, thanks, Superman. No problem. Da, 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 da. I don't even know what's gonna have the. Da, 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 da. I don't even know. So what's I'm gonna, gonna hold, I'm gonna hold you accountable. I'm hold you accountable. Hold me accountable on what? If Ma, Ma and Pa Clint, I don't think she's going to be in this movie. I don't think we're going to get that moment. You told me years ago, if Ma and Pa Clint aren't in this movie, you can find that quick. What are you, you, well, what are you saying? What are you saying? I don't think Ma, you, you know that, you said you want that moment with Ma and Pa Clint because it's Superman. We got to understand There's no way that. that Ma and Pa Clint are not in this movie. Oh, so you do believe in that. There's no way Ma and Pa Clint are not I don't in this movie. There's I don't, no I, way that Ma Kent is not in the movie. Pa Kent's dead already. So he dies before he comes Superman. So Pa Kent is dead. It would be nice to see a flashback of him dying. He probably I don't won't think do that. Get that. But Ma Kent got to be in this movie. I don't think she's going to be in the movie. So if she's not, I'm just, just if James just want to do a different take, how do you feel? That's an L. Where is he getting his... <laughs> okay, see, that's what I'm like, why, there's, why? Too, there's too many minefields. You ever played the game minefield? Like, I feel like there's too many. His, Ma Kent but, is his first love. Like, that's his... his but, if this humanity. Is a, but we're establishing an already established Superman, so we, this, you have to assume he already went through that already. So no, 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 no. That. Ma Kent c continuously guides him and guides him whenever he's dealing with shit. You know, Superman could be in this movie dealing with an issue where it's not about his power, it's about his uh, his perseverance, and he needs to go home and Ma or talking to him on the phone and giving him guidance and structure. That's what Lois is for. <laughs> I love it. I can't wait for Jody to see this movie. I get what you're doing. I know. You see what I'm saying? There's some you things mean. you got to let go. I just have to see. I can't wait for this movie to come out, bro. Like, I can't wait for James to just. Because I think James is going to piss you off. But I think he's going to knock it out the park. I think he is too. But he's he's gonna, I think some, 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 some things he's going to do that I'm, I'm not going to like. Mm -hmm. Because James. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget who James Gunn is, bro. Yeah, he's a troll, too. You, you understand what type of director he is? He's about the kooky, the weird, the off putting, mm -hmm. the, the non mainstream shit. Look at the Guardians. Look what he's doing. DC, the authority. Like, who the freak? Mm -hmm. Look what he did with Suicide Squad. Like, that's the type of director he likes to do the obscure characters who don't have a lot of history and one could say that that's a smart thing to do because when you take a character that has a lot of history and a lot of recognition and a lot of fans love it you can't really fiddle with it that much your room to play is very narrow but if you can't take somebody that no one knows about mm -hmm. you could do something and you could add a whole story to him that's way off from the comic book mm -hmm. that's and crazy and do it in the that's why I think James likes these obscure yeah, characters creative freedom. because you could just creativity galore on them hoes mm -hmm. that's not who Superman is though you can do that with the authority. When it comes it comes time to Superman, you gotta get it done. Perry White has been cast. And Perry White, do you know the actor who's playing Perry White? No. 
She, 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 oh, yeah. she. Okay, yeah, yeah, him. Him, the, um, the wire. The wire. He is a funny actor. He's a staple in black entertainment. He fighting temptations. He played the pastor. Fighting temptations. Wasn't he in uh, Winchester Hill? Yes. Yes. Yeah, he was in Winchester Hill. No, that was a different guy. No, no, it was the same dude. That was the same guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Dope. I like him. I dig the actor. I use him in my in my channel. Perry White is Lois's boss at the Daily uh, Planet. Mm -hmm. Um. Perry White ain't black. Mm -hmm. Lawrence Fishburne played Perry White in the, in the Snyderverse. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we've had a black Perry White before. Mm -hmm. Is there any problem with the fact that Perry White again is black? I'm not a Superman comic fan, but it's like, would you say it'll be that if John John Joe Jameson was black, would you be okay with that? No. So we should be consistent with in the, here in this case. If we're if we're if we're just being Perry consistent. White is not as iconic as John and Joe Jameson. Is that why you you mentioned earlier, like you only have so much wiggle room to use yep. a character that yeah. that's obscure? I think Perry White is in that, uh, in that obscure enough where you yeah. can play with that. Yeah. Okay. You have a problem with that he's black though? No, I don't. I don't either. So now that we can get over the fact about people talking about why they get this black guy to play Perry White, uh, he's not. We that just iconic. acknowledged it. We just talked about. We yes. just acknowledged exactly. It. So that's the wiggle room. I like the casting for Perry White, but <laughs> I'm looking at that actor and I'm like, what type of Perry White is he gonna play? He's gonna be she Perry. I need to go do this mission. She you ain't going nowhere. You know he's gonna do it. She who's like, Perry. I need. To can I get first class? She, you better take that economy, bro. And that shit gonna be funny as shit. He's gonna be funny. This Perry White's gonna be a comedian, and I like that take because we've had the serious take on Perry White before. We've had two serious takes. We have multiple serious takes on Perry White. So I like what he did with the Perry White casting. To be honest, I like what he did with all the goddamn castings of Superman Legacy, except Beast. Beast. I don't like the Nicholas Hope casting, but just because I don't like the casting doesn't mean that I don't, that I won't like the casting. Because when the movie comes out, we're going to finally see what time it is. Are you worried about Superman being good or not? I think Superman's going to be good. I think it's going to, I think people are going to have a tough time getting over James Gunn's interpretation. So I think the perception of Superman, I think it was what James is trying to fight over. Rather than like he's trying to rally the Superman fans together, so I agree with the sense that he had to change the name because if there's a divisiveness in this fan base, you have no chance of going forward trying to fight and get this movie the money that it needs to make going forward. Even though Superman is always going to be a constant fight, but you have to get this movie. You have to rally the fan base together. Let them not be confused. See, you wanted to allow his voices on Superman, rather than people listen to it or not. The fact that you were divisive, if you felt that way, I'm pretty sure there were other fans that feel the same way. Yeah. So there should be a clear, cohesive message going into that. So at least James acknowledged that and stomped it to the ground and said, you know what, let me just move forward going here. Let's do this. There's a couple of people out there that misconstrued the words of, uh, what's her name? The, the actress who's playing Hot Girl. Yes. Um, if you see the comments in there, email of her name, let me know. The Snyder Cloak. Made a fake quote that she came out and said, Superman is uh, in the background. I'm paraphrasing, Superman's in the background. The movie's really about Lois Lane. Mm -hmm. then Isabel, the actress, her name is Isabel, Isabel Merced. Merced, yep. Isabella Merced, yeah. Mm -hmm. Isabella Merced came out and said, Yo, that wasn't me. People are, are, are believing fake quotes. By the way, the person who made up that fake quote, you're liable. They're going to sue you, and that's what should happen to you, bro. Putting fake quotes and spreading fake news like that, bro, you're gonna get yourself in trouble. There's a Facebook user that started that shit. Mm -hmm. But the look what the Snyder Code did, bro. They made that whole fake shit up. Have you seen that fake Superman suit that was out there that showed him in, in the suit? I'm gonna go ahead and put it on screen for you guys right now for you guys to see. This fake Superman suit that had that S that James used, mm -hmm. and they put a suit around David Corns with and gave him some little fake muscles to make. To, and make it look like a fake set photo. Mm -hmm. People are out there commenting on it like it's the real thing. People are taking what Isabella Merced said like it's the real thing. I took it as what she said as the real thing because I didn't believe. Which speaks to the sensitivity that the Superman fans have. And that's what James is at least sensitive to. Right. Because he's not allowing 
that discord to uh, to manifest itself to hurt his movie or hurt his film. Because most directors would say, oh, just ignore it. He just fans, let him talk. He did. He, he came, he, I think he came out and debunked it and said it wasn't real. But, bro, those Snyder cultists are going to come for this movie if it's mm -hmm. bad. If there's a slight Rather evening, good, they're going to come for it. I mean, if it's good and they come for it, we're know they're just insane morons, right? But if, but if bad, there's issues with the movie, they're going to infect this movie going, like a virus. Correct. And um, even though they're in, they're, the Snyder cultists are bed bugs. Snyder and his garbage piece of shit fan base. They're weak morsels of human beings. They're bed bugs. They're in the walls right now, like a good bed bug should be. But when this movie comes out and if it has issues, them blood sucking ticks are gonna come from out the walls and start spe spewing bullshit and then making the whole shit be toxic again. That's why I believe 100% that James gotta come out with a motherfucking great movie. And overall, I'm at a better place than I was last week. <laughs> he damn sure because was. getting rid of that Superman legacy was divisive, and they use that. Yeah, they, they can use that comment. So but it's also the best thing that he could have done mm. for his movie. So in a sense, that do you feel like the Snyder cult kind of put like a little added more salt to the wound of that Superman legacy logo to the point to where instead of people embracing the logo, there's a lot of negative feedback out there about the logo. Instead of us being, oh, it's just a different logo, it was already negative. So the narrative going into it is like, oh, it sucks, we hate it. Let's not watch this movie. Even you got caught by that bug. Because I think if you I agree. Heard, if, I agree with anybody that says that that logo is not hot. Because I don't think it is. I'm not saying that it's not hot. But the fact that it was more negativity to it, oh, let's not watch it because of the logo instead of it being, it's a different interpretation. Oh, is that what you were saying? People saying, yeah. let's not watch it because of the logo? Correct. Ah, uh, that's insanity, bro. That's correct. That's I, insanity. To not watch a movie because you don't like the logo makes you a dweeb. Because of a particular, because a costume yeah. don't fit. Because of, but that was the the narrative that I was trying to be created unsuccessfully. But I did hear talk of that. Oh, because if you're doing this, then there's no point of watching it. Oh, this just doesn't mean anything. This is Batman, the Batman all over again. You're being vengeance. Why would I watch a movie? You're not being called Batman. That type of. But that movie still made eight hundred million dollars. But still, that was that kind of feel. Yeah, that's out. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't subscribe, subscribe to that. To that. Mm -hmm. I don't ever that. <laughs> don't subscribe to it. Uh, me, as a lifelong Superman fan, bro, I'm in a very sensitive place. You got to understand because as grateful as I am that Superman is coming out and is no longer called Legacy and, and all these things are happening and people are... It, the buzz is real, bro. Like it, hate it, Superman buzz is rising. And it's only going to get higher and higher the closer and closer we get to release. But as the lifelong Superman fan that I am, bro, I am grateful that we're even getting a Superman movie. But understand where my mind is at. I dealt with almost nine years of a toxic Zack Snyder ran DCEU, bro. But they hate everything. They're supposed to hate everything. Now that it's getting closer and closer to deadline day, because once Superman, not legacy, but the Superman come out, that means if it, they're dead. It's dead. They, they're already dead. But that's like the if Superman it's like a city doesn't hit, on top. it's like being if a, a they don't hit, bro. It's over. If the foundation ain't there, uh -huh. you can't rise, uh, 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 put a high rise on a great dead quicksand great foundation. No, you can't do it. So if this movie doesn't hit, it has to be great. If this movie doesn't hit, I'm not checking for James Gunn's DC DCU. What do I got to? If you f up Superman, I don't care about nothing else you do, and he knows that. He put that pressure on himself. Yeah, he yeah he's directing. He's personally. directing. He's writing. Mm -hmm. He's producing, cultivating, casting, it's all funding. Me. Yeah, it's all you me. know, it's all him. This movie is all. This is the most all James Gunn movie yeah, ever. This is more than. This is more than Guardians of the Galaxy Suicide Squad. Yes, this is more James Gunn's movie than Guardians of the Galaxy and Suicide Squad and Bright Burn. Yeah, this is more all than that other shit. All that other shit he did. This is. The, this is the movie that James Gunn has been coming for. Because he has full power in this bad boy. Is From the top to is the equivalent bottom. equivalent to somebody handing you a black card say, go to the grocery store and cook me a meal. You can buy anything in this grocery store. Just make anything me a good meal. Anything in this city. Anything, any, yeah, anything in this Bro, city. Bro, you go any yeah, market you go any you market in this city. Yes. Just cook me a good meal when yes. it's done. That's what's happening right now. You can't now. blame nobody else for that food <laughs> being bad. <laughs> yeah, but, but James Gunn, the chef. Yes. And that's a lot of pressure to put on yourself, bro. Most people wouldn't do that. I don't think I... And, and you know what? He even Zack Snyder himself didn't do that yeah. with 300. Yep. He had other niggas to blame if that Facts. movie was not successful. Yep. Even with Watchmen. And Man of Steel. 
Chris, a lot of Chris, he could have played. Christopher Nolan made Man of Steel the good movie, the great movie that it is, bro. He kept it grounded, bro. Once there was no Christopher Nolan involved, you got BDS. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro, there's no coincidence with that shit. When you had Nolan, you got Man of Steel. When Nolan leaves, BBS, bro. So I gotta respect the cojones yep. on Chris on, on James Gunn because he put a lot of pressure on himself and he's taking that pressure head on. So respect, love, and uh, I can't wait to see what what Superman brings in the future, bro. I mean, time will tell, bro. Overall, I think that. <laughs> I, I, so look, I don't know what to think about this movie yet. Mm -hmm. All I know what it has to be. I know what it has to be. I don't know what this movie will be. And that excites me and scares me at the same goddamn time. I know what the movie needs to be. It needs to be great. It needs to put respect on Superman. It needs to revitalize the franchise. It needs to kick off the DCU. It needs to carry the DCU into the future to greenlight these other movies. There's a lot that this movie needs to, to do. do. But I don't know what it will do. And I think that I won't have an opinion on what this movie will be until I get more information or until I see the goddamn movie in its entirety for myself. <laughs> what you think? You're right. So ultimately, this movie cannot be judged and how this movie is going to be judged going forward cannot be determined until this Superman movie comes out. Right. James Gunn, good luck to you, but... Um, I would say, you know, James Gunn don't care about our advice, but no. um, creating confusion amongst your fan base is not a good start. <laughs> but but he's going out of his the way to correct me. Huh? The name change, right? The name change. Or the Because that does create confusion, doesn't it? it? And, and it allows people like the Snyder verse to say Snyder verse to say yeah. there's incohesiveness going on with right. the universe and we right. don't even have a movie yet. And, and, so let's and, not and that's the thing. Them. Yeah. You're changing the title. It's not a small thing. That's a big thing. If this then the movie's coming out and not even so many months away. So yes. this is this this should the movie the title should have been name change should have been a year right. ago. Or you should have never named the Superman Legacy to begin with. But nonetheless, he's acknowledging the confusion, he's attacking the confusion, and it, it's ultimately James, whether this movie's successful or it fails, it is on you. And he knows that and we and I can't mm -hmm. wait to see it. And going forward, let's let's give James Grace. We gave Kevin Feige Grace, so if you were to give James Grace Aside, Superman movie aside, where's your grace with him? Superman movie. I, know, I understand uh, the Superman movie. One hundred percent. It's just a, that's where your grace is. Then everything 100%, else afterwards. One hundred percent grace. He has. I'm not doubting him until I see the project, bro. Until I see something, bro. Mm -hmm. Like something real. Maybe it's got. It's probably gonna have to be until I see the movie, bro. But he has one hundred percent grace for this movie. Let him do it. Let's see what he comes out with. And like a hawk, my eye will be on this movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This movie be... That review is going to be epic or not. <laughs> I don't know. But for sure, stay away from the set leaks. Please, please, oh, please. Oh, I'm there for the set leaks. 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 They're going to come my way. I'm going to see the suit. The suit's going to get leaked, bro. The suit's going to get leaked. The photographers are going to shoot them. Shoot There's still some Snyder coaches out, out there that still work for Warner Brothers that yeah. get their mouth shut. And still loyal to that freaker over there. Yeah. So, yeah, that, yeah I can see that happening. Yeah. So, there it is, guys. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, bro. Uh, DC still rises, bro. DC rises. See ya.